Hi everyone, I'm so excited for this video. Today I'm gonna to show you a perfume haul. Can you tell how excited I am? Because I'm gonna show you amazing fragrances. So if you're looking for new fragrance or you're curious to see new fragrances, then you need to watch this video because I don't really think they are that known. So that's exciting. And yeah, so let's get right into the video. Hi, my name is Amanda, and if you're new here, here we talk all about luxury fragrance, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that's something that you love, make sure you subscribe. Also, head over to my description box and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I would love to connect with you on all of my social media channels. Also, I do sometimes post Q and A's, um, and yeah, you can ask me questions on Instagram. And yeah, so I will start with a fragrance that I've been using a lot, and that I don't have the box anymore. <laughs> Um, and I have a few amazing fragrances, so definitely worth to stay. But I will start off with this fragrance. This is Extreme by Ether. I'm sorry if I pronounced this wrong, but this is basically the first time I've ever heard about this perfume brand. I've got this in a local boutique, and I got this because I had a voucher for um, a fragrance, and this was the one I chose. I had a really, really great... Um, Amazing. It was a really great experience. If you're ever going to Switzerland, I recommend you to check it out. Let me know if you're in Switzerland, I'll let you know the brand at uh, the, the, the store. But this fragrance is gorgeous, and I tell you why. And this is a synthetic fragrance. You know that on my wish list was another 13. But you know what? Having this fragrance made me not want it anymore because it's just as good one, not even better. Oh, I love it. So if you have to imagine how this fragrance smells, imagine eccentric molecule. Uh, number two, it smells a little bit woody, still a little bit fresh, but stays much longer. So this fragrance was a hit, not even for me, but also for my friends. They were even wearing it. They were wearing it for me. They loved it. And they're not always loving my fragrances because I would say that my, my taste is more towards like more stronger fragrances. And a lot of people are not really that um, phased to wear those, but this is gorgeous and I think it's also a really great layering perfume. This has went on me with a tr uh, on a trip and I am obsessed and in love with this fragrance and I just want to show you that that I already did in this fragrance. Well, my friends used it as well, but um, amazing, amazing perfume. Uh, I will link it below. Um, I will highly recommend it if you love fragrances that are molecular, fresh, woody, um, just, you know, give you this effortless model of duty look feel, if that makes sense. I don't know why, but um, just crisp white shirt smelling like that, good. Just too good to be true. I love this fragrance. Then the next fragrances that I'm about to show you are actually in collaboration with Max Aroma. They, they were kind enough to send me uh, fragrances of my choice. They were discoveries for me. I haven't tried them before and they were amazing discoveries. I actually was more than positively su surprised, as you know. As picky as I am, I am not a person that says quickly that I love something, but they are really good. So I can't wait to show you. And yeah, all the links are below. So make sure you check Max Aroma out. They're a really great online store for um, perfumes, niche perfumes, Tiffany based in the US. And um, they have a really great selection of really amazing niche perfumes. So I will be um, putting the links down below. Make sure you check them out. But I will be starting off with a gorgeous discovery. So they sent me this gorgeous bottle. It's called Madeleine and it is from Mask Milano. Um, also like they uh, put the perfumer here. So this was Fanny Ball, I think. And it's really nice that it comes also with the description of the notes. So I chose uh, fragrances based on the notes and I'm just going to read you the notes. So yes, this is interpreted, interpret, interpreted by Fanny Bell. The head notes are chestnut accord, chantilly accord. And for those who don't know, chantilly is a French word for whipped cream. Seed oil, heart notes are tuberose, elemar, cypress oil, elemar, geranium oil, Egypt elemar. I don't know what elemar means. Uh, base notes, tonka bean apps, elemar, milky masks, vanilla pods, extract. So when you read it and you see chantilly, so whipped cream, milky notes, vanilla pods, tonka beans, you think of something extremely milky and like baby powdery. And let me tell you, this is exactly what it is. However, the chestnut accord. You will love this. So you open this bottle. When it's on camera, you have to be careful. And this is how it looks. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, 
this looks like a perfect wedding fragrance doesn't it like really beautiful milky and um i love the bottle first of all i love this i, I love it i think oh again beautiful 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 so this fragrance is th something different than i usually have not so different but um let me just tell you what it smells like to me so when you spray it first of all what i get is hazelnut i get something very nutty uh, hazelnut almondy something a little bit more leaning towards to something um sweet hazelnutty but not overly sweet more like powdery sweet and then when you wear it, the more it gets really milky. And so what I think, what when I smelled it, I was like, I need to show you girls. Um, I need to show you because I know a lot of you love fragrances smell like a little bit more almondy that have something a bit play doughy powdery to it. And this is absolutely incredible. I think this is what I wished, not what I thought um, Italica smelled like. This is like a lighter version, a little bit more of a powdery, a little more of an elegant and um, softer version of um, Italica. For me, the, the chestnut really does smell like hazelnut to me. And this is a fragrance that you just want to cuddle up in. I don't know how to explain it. Like if any one of you has a baby shower and you need a fragrance, I would recommend this. I don't know why I thought of this, but this smells like to me someone it smells something soft something elegant delicate like something that i would wear see a bride wear or like a mother to be a, a woman anyway in general anyone in general but this is what it reminds me of firsthand what i loved also is the longer it stays the more musky it gets so the chestnut accord really is there at the beginning and since it's an italian brand what i can tell definitely is you know the biscotto that you eat with the cuff coffee in italy like the almondy things it does remind me a little bit of that and it's just really really beautiful and i really enjoyed i really enjoyed wearing this and also really lasts on clothes which is important to me i would wear this like in the morning when i go to the market when I wear something more like soft, like this is for me like a brunch fragrance. But don't get confused with soft. It's still very noticeable when you come close to someone. I um, just don't think that this is the overpowering heavy fragrance. So if you're looking for something that smells a little bit more powdery, sweet, a little bit more with a nutty accord and you need something that doesn't is, that's not like overwhelming. And you know, like you're also sensitive to heavy smells. Then I, sorry, I talk a lot with my hands. Then I can recommend this. The mask in it, it just, it's a little bit like tonic. It's a little bit like uh, Play-Doh-y. It's, it's really, really beautiful. And I'm really happy I got this scent. Um, I will definitely be enjoying this. And I already did a little bit. And I'm really excited. And the lasting power is good as well. Because it's not a super heavy fragrance, I don't think that it lasts like 24 hours. However, on the clothes, it lasts really, really long this based on other fragrances you like such as delina not delina yeah delina but like the other one a parfum stemali the newer one the little bit with um what's it called yeah delina and the other one the newest one i forgot the name um although i wasn't fond of it because it has like um this uh, i feel like rose syrupy smell um the new one not delina the new one there's a Chantilly Accord and the milky powderiness that sets after the first new notes that you notice is similar to this. You would also like this if you like um, uh, Le Via di Milano, the one that smells almondy. You would also like this if you like uh, Italica. Italica is a little bit more gourmand, although this has some aspects of it. It is slightly more powdery, but I highly recommend it. It's really gorgeous. So next up, let's go with the same brand. So the same brand, I also got the Lost Alice fragrance. This is interpreted by Mackenzie Rayleigh. And what is really gorgeous about this brand is that it is also, um, there's a description. It's in Italian. I don't speak Italian. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to butcher this gorgeous language, but I'm going to read it in English. So Lost Alice, a fractious olfactory journey into too much black paper, white roses, matte tea, painted red, matte tea and carrot cakes. Um, so going back to the notes i'm gonna just open it and then read you the notes so this is how it looks very mysterious love the name lost alice alice in wonderland makes me think of it 
let's just talk about the notes. The um, head notes are um, bergamot, umbred seed, clary sage, too much black pepper. The hard notes are carrot heart, orris concrete, English tea, white roses, painted red. And the base notes are sandalwood from India, fleur de lait, steamed milk. And this is a very interesting fragrance, I have to tell you. Very interesting. So I want to spray that. So this fragrance is a mystery to me, um, I have to tell you, because I couldn't put my finger on what it smells like. But I can definitely smell the carrot and the black pepper. This for me is for a woman, is, this for me is for someone that's reserved, but likes to smell a little bit more mysterious and likes to smell powdery, elegant, and not easy to figure out. This is what it smells like. It's so beautiful, but it is, um, let me tell you, I'm gonna just spray it on my skin to be a little bit more precise. It's a very, I mean, I have to say, um, I'm very surprised and impressed with the brand um, because I feel like adding the perfumer, is, first of all, is an amazing thing because obviously that's their work, but also it's like pieces of art, like collections, and they have like each a story, like every perfume, but the way it's presented, I just really enjoy it. Yes, the black pepper. Yes, you can definitely smell on the skin, the first thing that I can smell is definitely bergamot with the black pepper. Then I can also smell a little bit of the carrot. And what I love about it is how she balanced it out with the rose. Because the sweetness just doesn't make it... like If you would imagine a perfume that smells like carrots and black pepper, you would probably think of kitchen. But the fact that there is some rose in it just gives it like this little bit of a softness. And the bergamot is balancing it out. It's basically like cooking the perfect dish. For me, this is a going out fragrance, a dinner fragrance that I want to wear when I invite it, when I'm going to be invited somewhere because it's something that is present but is not again offending. Offensive? For me, not no fragrance is offensive, honestly. Do you? But I have to say it because people, like, I have to say it because there's a lot of people that are very, like, there's a lot of people that pay, like, attention to what they wear and where they wear it. Um, as long as I feel comfortable, I'm good. I mean, for some people that sound, sound me in ignorant, but like you cannot take, you cannot think of everyone. Okay, just wear something that you feel great about. Okay, so this is gorgeous. This is something again that I would want to cuddle, like that you want to cuddle up to. It's close to the skin. At the same time, it has something dark, mysterious to it. It smells a little bit of a, a tiny bit of a sweetness, but I wouldn't say it's a sweet perfume. I would more say it's more on the woodier side. I think this is great um, for everyone. Anything can anyone can wear, but I don't have a particular person in mind that would wear this other than someone that just is a bit more reserved, is a little bit more mysterious, wants to be figured out, doesn't want to be, you know, like if I would smell this on my friend, I'd be like, what is this? Like, what is this fragrance? It's really, really beautiful. And I think the name Lost Alice, like Alice in Wonderland is actually perfect. And what a gorgeous, like what gorgeous notes. I mean, if you are a perfume lover, Top notch so this is really amazing however this is not my favorite of the ones that i have i think this is gorgeous it's not that i this is for me if, oh no it's actually really good i would have to test it more but i think this is not one that for example enigma will grow on me the more i wear it but this for me is a perfect dinner perfume i'm gonna show you the last full bottle that they sent me which was definitely definitely my favorite and i'm excited I am more than excited. So I chose Paris to Abu Dhabi by Stephanie Stephanie de Bruchy Prune. I'm so sorry if I didn't say this all right. But this is she's a perfumer and she's based in Paris. And if I'm not mistaken, she's also do, she also does perfumes sur mesure, which means you can do your own fragrance. I think. Let me double check that. But um, she has great collection and look at how they came. Um, very talented woman and it comes like so in this box looks already really nice and then you open the box like so and you have the gorgeous fragrance sitting there all pretty and ready to use 
And yeah, I chose the fragrance Paris Abu Dhabi. This, she has different collections. This collection, if I'm not mistaken, is like with different cities. Thing. This fragrance, okay? I told you like on my list, on my wishes, if you have watched my previous video, please go ahead and watch it. Um, If you haven't, yeah, please go ahead and watch it. So my previous video is actually um a wishlist perfume item. And on this list, wish list, I also noted a fragrance. I think I don't need any more because this is really similar and I fell in love. So um, it doesn't say, does it, wait, let me check if it says the, um... oh yeah. So let me tell you the notes. Every brand should do this. I think this is amazing. So it says warm oriental, bergamot oil from Italy, nutmeg, rose oil from um, Turkey, heliotrope, kayak oil, saffron, patchouli from Indonesia, cedarwood oil from Virginia, sandalwood from India, amber, haiti, vetiver oil, and musk. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you, if there's saffron in it, I'm gonna get it. I love saffron in fragrances with rose mix. Oh my god, I need to create a fragrance like that because, wow, I love that one day. But yeah, this is how the bottle looks. It's absolutely beautiful and I loved to wear this, like as you can tell. Smells on your clothes for ages and also lasts really long on the skin. And so beautiful. So I tried this directly on the skin. Let me try it on the... Um, paper um i am a firm believer in if you try perfumes try it on your skin because i've tried perfumes on paper and i loved it and then on my skin didn't work skin is much more accurate because obviously it depends on your ph and it smells different on everyone so yeah definitely different if i think if i would go in the store if you smell it like that i wouldn't even give it a go like that's so sad because this fragrance is amazing so yeah i love this fragrance i think this is gorgeous i think it is just the right amount of vetiver i had issues with vetiver in the past when it comes to fragrances they were too woody for me too strong but this is a gorgeous balance between all the notes and i as you know i love oriental fragrances fragrances that transport me back to the middle east to north africa i just think there's something very opulent and luxurious it just I love it. I think these are one of my fragrant fragrances will always be. And this is pure class. I cannot tell you how class and expensive how classy and expensive this perfume smells to me. It is a very uh, woody fragrance, a very um, be well balanced perfume. The notes are extremely refined, but it still manages not to be overly strong and over. Like it's not gonna overpower the room and like make everyone smell your fragrance. It's so classy. And what I love about it as well, it is a, it has a smokiness to it, but still a softness. So if I would describe it, I would describe it as a soft, woody and powdery fragrance. If you like Perfect Oud by Maison Cire, then you will definitely like this. It's on the same level of type of perfume, since Perfect Oud also has something a little bit more soft, a little bit more powdery. For me, Perfect Oud is like the elegance of Oud. This is, wow, it's so beautiful. Like, this is something that I would wear on a special occasion, on every day. <laughs> I, I say this like I don't wear uh, special occasion perfumes on an everyday basis, which I do. Um, but I love this perfume. It's so beautiful. Definitely my favorite of it. I love this. Like, I've been wearing this last week almost every single day. And this is one that it just, wow, it's gorgeous. And I mean, look, if it stands on your vanity, looks so gorgeous it's so beautiful and um it's such a beautiful scent and you can let, really tell that the the, um, the ingredients are quality it's yeah it's it's beautiful i also love the way it um, develops um a little trick that's what i do when i want to test a fragrance purely on its longevity without like moving and stuff i would add it on my wrist overnight because um I just see in the morning if it's still there and I woke up with the gorgeous smell which was this 
and what I think is challenging with a fragrance that you don't know when you purchase this is how it develops. You want your fragrance to smell as good as it does in the in the end and it is and as it does at the beginning. And of course, it changes because of the notes because you don't smell the notes all at once. They're like different perceptions as well. But um, you see the quality of the ingredients definitely. I think towards the day, um, and this is uh, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is something that I would wear or take on vacation. This is something I would wear to, to take to Dubai. This is something I wear in the big city where I know I go with my fiance. Or this is something that I will wear on a rehearsal dinner, pre-dinner, on a wedding dinner. Absolutely gorgeous. I am obsessed with this fragrance and I don't need... Uh, what I went... I told you like Gucci Voice of the Snake was on my list. Well, I will reconsider this because I have the feeling this smells quite similar. I just can tell you this from memory. So it's not very accurate because I smelled Gucci uh, was a snake in October in Florence. And I, it's just from what it made me feel like, what it made me, you know, think of. It has the same effect that um, Paris Abu Dhabi has. So if you want to check it out, make sure you go down below on my link and go to the link below and check out the fragrances. I can highly recommend. If you want to have a ranking, no one asked for it, but I'm going to give it to you. This is probably number one, very close to number two, which is this one, Madeleine. And then a third would be this one. This is gorgeous as well, but I, I love this one as well. I... Like if I would be a mom, I would wear it. I don't know why this reminds me. It just reminds me of this. It reminds me of a softness. Um, I would still wear this, but I just think it's gorgeous. So I'm really excited about these fragrances and I hope you found one that you liked. Before we say goodbye today, I'm gonna show you also that they sent me a discovery kit for BDK fragrances and it comes like this. This is Max Aromas discovery kit. I love that. I think this is amazing. Um, they also gave me this little thing. I think you can fill up the trays. And this is amazing. As someone who loves to travel, and I'm a person, believe it or not, I don't take a lot of things in my bag. Well, it depends. Like, if I travel, it's different because, you know, you need to be organized. But, like, on a daily basis, I don't take a full bottle of perfume with me. So, perfumes like these are actually perfect if you don't have a long day and you just want to shush it up. So, they sent me... Nuit de Sable. They sent me... Um, uh, what they sent me, Sel uh, d'Argent, and they sent me, um, um, they sent me BDK, uh, uh, they sent me Boucle d'Ongari. Um, I wanted to try, I'm gonna just try one because, um, I tried so many fragrances recently that I wanted to keep this for another video. I'm gonna tell you all about it. But let's just go in with BDK. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. I actually think this is, yeah, this is a very Cell d'Argent, very aquatic fragrance. Something I would maybe give to my husband, my fiance, my husband to be. Yeah, very aquatic, perfect for the summer, something fresh, really nice, very nice fragrance. Um, really nice. I'm gonna try the ones and I'm gonna test them for you and then and then I'm gonna let you know. But this is actually their three pocket perfume um, with a funnel so you can fill up the little perfume pockets. And I think this is great if you are looking for perfumes but you're hesitating between two or three, just get this bottle and test it out over time because you know, perfumes are investments. If you wanna go for it like that, go for it. If you don't wanna go for it, understandable. So I hope you enjoyed this haul and make sure you check Max Roma out. Also, make sure you have a look at because there's going to be another perfume haul very soon. So exciting. And I wanted to say that I'm really glad you're sticking around. I know I haven't been active. Wedding planning is taking over. Once wedding happened, I will be able to be much more active on YouTube again. I know I said this since a few weeks. I actually thought I could pencil it all in, but honestly, it's difficult <laughs> uh, because yeah, it is very difficult since um, 
so much of my time is taken off free time is taken off with last minute organizational things so yeah thank you so much for watching make sure you stay and i'll see you next time